So this is the EWH program, to summer 2011. My name is Abdullah, and my partner is holding the camera as Spencer right now. This is St. Elizabeth Hospital at Arusha City. And we've got a secondary project to do over here. They need us to build some cement ramps for wheelchairs and to paint one of their exterior walls. So we'll just walk this way. So what they need us to do is build a ramp up to this platform from here. And then build a second ramp. Build a second ramp up to the doctor's office right there. The second thing that they need us to do is paint that wall so that it's nicely colored just as this one over here. So we're gonna go get some paint, some rollers and stuff, and we're just gonna paint this wall on both sides of the wall. This is Jonas here. Jonas. He's the, uh, he's the hospital technician. <laughs> uh, Jonas Mkwizu, he's the fundi here, he works with us and we work with him actually. And uh, we're gonna be helping him out with this project. Okay, so we're here at the ShopRite complex, which includes a lot of Western style shops, as well as the ShopRite supermarket. It also is home to the ATM, which is what we need in order to withdraw money for the cement and paint project, which Abdullah described earlier. Because one of the problems here is actually not technical, it's monetary. All right. All right, so some of the problems that happen here are unexpected to say the least. Um, we basically all three ATMs in this entire area are non-functioning for various reasons unknown to us. So we are going to venture to a different one now. This is Arusha City. <laughs> Bumbi, Bumbi, Chop, Barabara, Mbaya, Bara Bara, Moshi, Bara Bara, Kinogo, Lakini Arusha, Mbaya, Alafu, Bara Bara, Moja, too. This is the store. Yeah. So, so, Nina, Nina, Nina Taka, Tattoo, Light Blue, Na Moja, uh, Broken White. Abdilla crying. <laughs> you go. The machine gave me ten thousand less than I. Go. All right. So now that we bought the paints and everything we need, and I'm out of money. We're going to try and get the cement now, if we can make it there alive without someone running us over crossing the road. <laughs> Hello, Ujambo. Huh? Ujambo. Ujambo, Mambo. Poa, poa. I'm Zima. <laughs> so this is the cement shop. This is, can you see me? Yeah. So this is the cement shop that we're at right now. We're going to buy some cement. Um, as you can see... Up. Uh, up. Raise your voice. Oh, okay. So we're going to buy some cement now. We're at the cement shop. Uh, this is for the ramp project, as we mentioned earlier, for St. Elizabeth's Hospital. Uh, we're looking for a couple bags of cement um, and hopefully the tools that are required. Here's the cement. Lots of sweat. It's been and here's the guard guarding it with a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we need to get the... We've got all the equipment ready. We've got the... Um, Fundi's here with us as well, they're going to work with us, okay, but I don't we're, we're, and we're going to work with them. And they're getting the frames ready so we can build the frames for the ramp. And we've got some concrete bricks laid out already, and we're starting to build the frame now. The special is cleaning the wall. This is the wall that we're gonna paint. Rubbing it off. You need to make it smooth like that wall. Yeah. Spence, look what I found you. Oh yes. Sante Sana Buana. Nara Fiki Yangu. Oh, Sante. Yeah, yeah. 
Bombe sana. So as you can see, first thing they need to do is crush the floor and expose the lower layers so we can pour the cement in properly. Get on to wood. Yeah. We're shoveling off the rubble. We already broke the surface of the ground. The river got full, so we went to empty it out. Now we're getting ready to mix the cement. So, as you can see, sometimes when we're working here, things just tend to happen and we have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and people just disappear all of a sudden. It's like, they come, they start saying something, and they get into this conversation, all of a sudden, boom, they're gone. And we're left standing here. And I can't go with them because we've got stuff that I need to watch. That's 20 liters of paint. So oh, five, Jonas is back. Okay, Jonas is back. This is what you do when you're tired. You get the local kids to help out. They'll do it for free too, they just want to have fun. This is the second ramp now. We've got the first one. Nice and smoothed out over there. It's drying now. And now we're laying out the second one. Starting to get some blisters on my hand, but that's okay. Now we wait for it to dry out before we apply finishing. We're done painting for today. The primer is done. We're gonna start crack filling. We're just washing the paintbrushes now. So this is the crack filler. Now that the cement's dried out a bit, we just do the finishing to make it smooth. So this is what the final ramp looks like as after it's been polished and fi finished. Sorry. <coughs> It's very nice and smooth. We've got both ramps over here. They've been finished. Um, well, it's about 4.30, close to pushing 5 in the afternoon. The sun is hanging low in the sky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> African sun. Um, and uh, what we did is we applied one coat of water-based uh, white paint as a primer. Uh, and then we used a crack filler material. Basically, it's a kind of more like a plaster-like material. We're going to be doing our best to get this thing looking in tip shop shape uh, starting tomorrow morning. So this is day two on the project, on our secondary Ops. project. Uh, What's up Spencer? How are you doing? So day two, start in the morning, uh, Asabuhi, as they say in Suihili. Um, we are going to start repainting this wall, uh, white color, another water-based coat. And then what we're gonna do is let it dry, hit it with some oil base, then we're done. صار لنا الحين أكثر من ساعة نشتغل على هذا الحيط أتوقع أني أنا الحين مغطى بغبار أبيض بس خلصنا تقريبا وبنبلش نسبق مرة ثانية <تصفيق> It's been about an hour and a half since the, since the sanding and we've coated the wall with another layer of um, paint so here's uh, Spencer about to finish right now and uh, we're just gonna leave this here for a couple of hours to dry while we grab a lunch break and come back to do the final painting okay uh, go. It's about 9.30 in the morning, uh, as you can see, and um, we're going to start putting on the broken white paint. Uh, we're starting a little later than normal because we had no cooking gas this morning to cook food with. 
Um, so we got some breakfast here close to the hospital. So I'm gonna apply this coat of broken white, uh, and uh, after that, uh, we'll pretty much be done. That's what we're doing today. So as you can see, we're just putting this tape here to cover up the blue so that we can paint white without going over the blue next to it. Alright, after a couple of coats of paint, a lot of hard work, looks like we're pretty much done here. All we have to do is uh, add a black line to the base of the wall here, which is something Jonas wants to do. Had a couple touch-ups, but unfortunately it's time for us to go home. Time for Abdullah, the man behind the camera, to return to Kuwait and for me to return to America. <laughs> it was a good time here, we've had a wonderful time, and I feel like we've done a lot of good work here. But uh, Jonas is going to have to hold down the fort for us. <laughs> All right, Jonas. Kazi ni nzuri? Kazi ni nzuri sana. Nzuri sana. Sawa, asante. Tunashukuru kwa hospitali kwa sababu umeweza kufanya kazi. Asante sana. Naam. Nikiki fanya wiki na pata mgonjwa alafu nachukua kwa kesho. Leo. Kesho sasa leo. It works well. They just need to move the chairs around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Asante sana. Asante.